All right, guys, this is going to be a short one. By now, you all have noticed Helena's unique disposition. I touched on this during my review of episode 6. Despite her outward appearance, she's actually lucid and aware of what happens around her. I believe the writers instilled an oracle trait in her, inspired by one of House Targaryen's unique characteristics, that is presage dreaming, or dragon dreams as they call it. It's said that the reason Targaryens managed to escape the doom of Valyria was because one of the daughters of the house, Daenys, later Daenys the Dreamer, saw the coming destruction of Valyria in a dream and warned her family. Since such clairvoyance characteristics were common among the Targaryens, Daenys' father, Aenor, later Aenor the Exile, acted on it and took his entire family to Dragonstone. Back to Helena's prophecies. Well, remember when she said this? You will have a dragon one day. He'll have to close an eye. If you have watched episode 7, then no explanation is necessary. In episode 7, we had a quick glimpse of Helena again. What she was saying might have sounded like gibberish at first, but upon close inspection, it actually made sense. Hand turns loom. Spool of green, spool of black. Dragons of flesh weaving dragons of thread. The first part... Hand turns loom, at a literal level, it simply describes a hand working a loom, a traditional machine used to weave cloth. Figuratively, which is the main point here, I'd say Helena is describing how fate guides and designs the events of present and future. After all, textile imagery has extensively been used to refer to work of fate and destiny in literature and fantasy literature. Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time is a prime example of that. Spool of green, spool of black. Dragons of flesh weaving dragons of thread. The theme of weaving continues, with Team Greens and Team Blacks represented by spools, then is followed by dragons of flesh weaving dragons of thread. Going by our initial interpretation that Helena is comparing process of weaving to how fate dictates the future of men, we can infer that in simple terms she is saying dragons will determine the end result of the struggle between Team Greens and Team Blacks. Yeah, I know, not as juicy as her first prediction, but hey, you can't be spoiling the events for viewers in every episode. 